Hi there, uh, thanks for looking at my, my video. Um, this is for sale my uh, 1966 uh, Volkswagen Beetle. Uh, it's been, I, I've imported the car from uh, South Africa uh, as a Valentine's present for my wife, but unfortunately um, we are not in a position to keep it anymore because we have had a, another baby, so it just doesn't really work as a, as a family car. Um, it's a real pity because it's, I think, possibly the best example of, a, uh, of an original Beetle um, around today. It's all, um, it's all original. Like I say, it was stored in a, um, it was, it's from South Africa um, and it has lived in one family over there uh, since, since it was made in 1966 which means it has never really experienced any rain um, so rust wise it's incredibly good um, everything is in very good condition all the bodywork is in lovely shape the colour uh, which I believe is original has, you know, has got some some small marks like for example here um, but I think it's fairly it's, a, it's an honest example um, I'll show you inside So, this is the uh, steering wheel. The mileage is 60,000, coming up to 61,000. Um, in car entertainment, is a bit limited. Never had anything fitted which wasn't intended. So, um, yeah, it is pretty basic. You have lights, wiper, um, uh, fuel gauge, and your speedo. So here, little glove box with some niff naff and trivia in there. Um, the windows, these are all quite sweet, and the white, everything works as it should. Um, something that I have noticed is that, that uh, the passenger sun visor is missing, um, but other than that, it's all really good. I think uh, all of the roof and everything is all in good condition. Seats are good condition, comfortable. Um, carpets are in good condition. I'll see if I can show you underneath the car as well to show you uh, the condition of the actual chassis. It's worth seeing. So, I don't know if you can see all of that. Um, but everything is as it should. Like common spots for rust are under here. Um, if you look at the bottom of that pan, it's, it's like it's new. I think it's probably, if you're looking for a, a car which is, you know, as, as close to, to how the original experience would have been, then this, this is the one you want. Um, pretty hubcaps on the wheels, etc. Show you the. Uh, engine okay so this is the engine it's about as sort of humble as you can get uh, it's all there. sorry about that uh, just got uh, interrupted and so the thing with this car is it turns a lot of heads so everyone wants to talk about it uh, let's open the bonnet down here well this is the front bonnet rather Um, not much to see in here. Uh, it's the boot, effectively. And this could be important. A couple of plates on the bottom. Okay. Let's take it for a quick drive. Okay, so turn the lights on, you have the two lights. Off you go. I always try and leave the car to run for um, a few minutes before, but I have been using it this morning, so I don't need to now. Um, one thing to note is that the, the gearbox is as it is, but if you're used to a modern car, 
it does feel a bit loose. Um, but the actual gears all changes, like that's slipping in throughout of first, second, third, fourth. That's four speed, okay. So I just take it for a bit of a drive. I don't know if you can hear it, but it sounds lovely. And the um, the smell is, is, is amazing. These are old air-cooled engines sound absolutely beautiful. Smell absolutely beautiful. Um, cool. Well, thanks for looking at the video. Um, I'm going to put it up for sale, and uh, hopefully, it will find a you know a really great home, someone that will enjoy it and look after it. Um, the car is from 1966, so it's coming out to 50 years old, and it's almost like it's brand new. Okay, I look forward to hearing from you, and um, speak soon. Cheers, guys.